I'm here to answer all of the solar eclipse questions that you were too afraid to ask. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, meaning that the shadow of the moon actually is thrown down onto the Earth, and then from certain parts of our planet, you can see it in the sky. You have a total eclipse where the moon covers the full face of the sun, and then you have a partial eclipse where it only covers part of it. Solar eclipses happen anywhere from two to five times a year, and they can occur basically over anywhere on Earth. What makes it so special is that it's passing over a huge chunk of the US, meaning that millions and millions of people around the country are gonna be able to see this eclipse. And it's probably the first and only time this will happen in most of our lifetimes. The last time this happened was in 1979, and even then, the totality phase of the eclipse only passed over a small portion of the states sort of in the Pacific Northwest. The solar eclipse on August 21st will be visible from all of North America in at least a partial phase, and it will stretch from coast to coast, from Oregon to South Carolina, so you'll have a lot of chances to see it. A total solar eclipse can only be seen from a relatively small portion of the world because of how small the moon is. The moon is a tiny body, so it casts a pretty small shadow on a pretty small part of the Earth, and only the part of the Earth that's in daylight. If you're in the path of a partial solar eclipse, you absolutely never want to look at the sun with your naked eye. You can burn your retinas, it's not good for you. Listen to your parents, listen to your doctor. Do not look at the sun, even if it is a partial eclipse. And you see the moon completely blot out the sun and it's the time when scientists say it's totality. Then you can look directly at the sun because really you'll just be looking at the moon. You cannot wear regular sunglasses to look up at the solar eclipse. You definitely need to invest in some good solar eclipse glasses. Basically, you just need to get somewhere within the band of totality, that dark band that the moon is gonna cut across the US. The total phase of the eclipse will only last for two and a half minutes at most. That's totally fine. If you're anywhere in North America, you'll be able to see at least a partial phase of the eclipse if you get your eclipse glasses out and go at the right time. If you want to take a good photo of the solar eclipse, just be sure to get a filter for your camera, for your iPhone, for something, so that you don't burn out the sensors in your phone when you're trying to take a photo of it. If it looks cloudy in your area, try to hop on a road, preferably a back road, <laughs> and get somewhere within the path of totality that maybe isn't quite so cloudy. Go for it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The most amazing part of this whole thing is that you don't need any kind of special equipment aside from a good pair of eclipse glasses to actually see it happen. The total solar eclipse effectively looks the same for anyone. It's just that you'll see it at a slightly different time depending on your location. During the total phase of a total solar eclipse, you're going to be able to see stars. You're going to be able to see planets. You'll be able to see things that you wouldn't normally be able to see because, you know, it's daytime. The moon will block out basically 100% of the sun's light, which means you're going to be able to see things as if it were nighttime. If you miss or sleep in for this next solar eclipse, you'll have another chance in 2024. Another total solar eclipse is going to cut a line across the U.S. in a slightly different path. Will it change your life? Yeah. <laughs>